area of composite figures. Hello dear students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to solve the area of composite figures. Let us begin. Let's take a look at our first example. Let's find out the area of this composite figure. Oh wait, do you know what composite figure means? A composite figure is figure that consists of two or more geometric shapes. For example, we have here a composite figure which consists of three geometric shapes. It has two triangles and one square. To find out the area of this composite figure, we just simply need to get the area of each geometric shape and combine them together. Now let's try and go back to our example. The first thing that we need to do to get the area of this composite figure is to divide our separate disc into basic shapes. Here we can see that we can divide us into two basic shapes, which are the rectangle and the square. Now that we have separated them, the next thing that you need to do is to get the area of each shape. Let's try to get the area first of the square. Again, the formula for the area of the square is side times side. Here, the measure of each side is 3 meters. Now let us multiply. 3 meters times 3 meters is 9 square meters. Therefore, this is the area of the square. Next thing that we need to do is to get the area of the rectangle. The formula for the area of the rectangle is length times width. Here, the measurement of the length is 10 meters, while the width is 2 meters. Now, let us multiply. 10 meters times 2 meters is great job. It is 20 square meters. Therefore, this is the area of the rectangle. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to combine the two areas together. This means that we need to add 9 square meters and 20 square meters. And that would be 29 square meters. Now, this is the area of this composite figure. Wonderful! Now, let's go and have another example. This time, we have another composite figure. Again, the first thing that you need to do is to divide or separate this into basic shapes. Here, we can divide this composite figure into two basic shapes, which are the triangle and the square. The next thing that we need to do is to get the area of each shape. Let's first get the area of the square. Again, the formula for the area of the square is side times sign. Here, the side of the square measures 7 cm. This means that we are going to multiply 7 cm by 7 cm. And that would be 49 square centimeters. And that is the area of the square. Now, let's go and get the area of the triangle. The formula for the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. Here, we can say that the measurement of the base is 7 cm since the sides of the square are equal. Now, let us multiply. We have the base 7 cm times the height which is 8 cm divided by 2. 7 cm times 8 cm is 56 square centimeters. Now, let's divide it into 2 and that would be 28 square centimeters. And that is the area of the triangle. Now, next thing that we need to do is to combine the two areas. Now, let us add 49 plus 28 is wonderful. It is 77 square centimeters. Therefore, this is the area of this composite figure. Awesome job! Now, let's move on and have another example. This time, we need to get the area of the shaded or the colored part of this figure. As we can see, 
this figure is already separated into two shapes. We have the circle and the square. Now let us get first the area of the square. Let us multiply side by the side. So that would be 4 feet times 4 feet. And that is 16 square feet. Next, let's get the area of the circle. The formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared, where the value of the pi that we are going to use is 3.14. Next, we have the radius. Here, we can say that the diameter of this circle is 4 feet, and the radius, which is half of the diameter, would be 2 feet. Therefore, we need to multiply 2 feet 2 times 2 itself. So that would be 2 feet times 2 feet. Now let us solve. We have 3.14 times 4 square feet. And that is 12.56 square feet. And this is the area of the circle. Now in the given question, we need to find out the area of the shaded or the colored part of this figure. Here, the colored part is the green part. This means that we only need to get the area of the green part. Therefore, instead of adding the areas together, we are going to subtract. Now, let us subtract 16 and 12.56. And that would be... 3.44 square feet. Therefore, this is the area of the colored or the shaded part of this figure. Wonderful! Now let's move on to our last example. Here we can see that the figure is already divided into basic shapes. We have the semicircle and the triangle. First, let's get the area of the triangle. Again, the formula for the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. Here, the base is 8 cm while the height is 12 cm. So that would be 8 cm times 12 cm divided by 2. 8 cm times 12 cm is 96 square centimeters. And let's divide it by 2. And that would be 48 square centimeters. This means that this is the area of the triangle. Next, let's find out the area of the semicircle. The formula for the area of the semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2. Again, the value of the pi that we are going to use is 3.14. Next, we are going to multiply that to the square of the radius. To get the radius, we need to divide the diameter into 2. The diameter measures 8 cm. So if we divide it into 2, that would be 4 cm. So that is our radius. Now that will be 4 cm times 4 cm. Now let us solve. We have 50.24 square centimeters divided by 2. And the answer would be 25.12 square centimeters. And that is the area of our semicircle. Now the next step that we need to do is to combine the two areas together. So let us add. And the area would be 73.12 square centimeters. Now this is the area of this composite figure. Wonderful! You made it this far students. Now here are the things that you learned today.